All right, should we be right? Yeah, looks good. We asked you guys for questions on Instagram yesterday. We thought we'd just sit down. We're in the new studio. We'll probably show you guys in a vlog soon and answer your questions, discuss them straight. 10, 15 minutes of just dropping game off the back of a, a good, how many hours did we work today? I didn't even go gym today, I'm not gonna lie. I just sat down and just 7 a.m. till 6 20 p.m. What about you? How was your day? Pretty flat out, eight hours nearly. Yeah, just straight. Why? Just gotta get the money. That's that's the plan. So we've got the best things to invest in when money comes in. I mean, first of all, the main thing is invest in you straight mm -hmm. away. Your skill with your music. You don't want to be taking the money you make from music and investing it in stocks straight away or trying to run crypto trying to do day trading or anything like that straight away you should invest obviously into your craft get better at your skill what we've put money into is like plugins yeah definitely just a few every now and then it really just spices up the creativity occasionally this light over here like that's a little thing things like this this is seriously leveled up the shot just having a light like that it was like 30 bucks i'd say a good investment even like we have some colored lights in here and just having those in videos and putting on the story all those things if i was to invest money i would instantly buy like an instrument a real instrument like a guitar or something like that that would be a very good investment but yeah physical stuff and like plugins is a good place to put your money and then travel as well that's the next which thing is something we've done quite a bit in the last year and a half probably more than our friends we went to school with just been traveling with them and working at the same time all the money we're making from our music just gets put back into our music so that's pretty much how it works it just goes yeah. like we earn and it goes yeah it just goes pretty back much. down but that's how it's going to be just for the meantime make us more money but why like what's the ROI of traveling meet people it's just general experience mature more you have to think for yourself a lot more especially if you are at home like with your parents like we are you don't you're very lucky you can just like sit down and work the whole day when you're traveling you gotta think about everything else you know where you're gonna stay what food you have to eat as well as doing the music stuff organizing sessions you know meeting people making contacts all this stuff so it's just a good way to i guess just grow up fast as well you just get so much more perspective and knowledge on the music game and just the life game the networking game the content you get levels up your instagram like crazy like our instagram has improved tenfold easy just because of the trips we've been on that alone is paid off for networking like we'll get into that stuff later we've got a whole video on traveling no one had ever done that before we did like a full garden how to travel as a music producer so moral of the story into your craft into getting more status being able to make more connections being able to improve your skill if you need to pay someone for knowledge we actually haven't done this but i mean in a way like we've done like bringing food to studios little things like that or even just traveling to a country like we invest a lot of money and people are a lot more open to meeting up with you and sharing knowledge yeah. bro even buying mentorships mm -hmm. people have actually done shit Obviously, you gotta be careful. There's a lot of scammers out there. Even buying kits for levels up your production. Bro, our products. Recently, we've been investing more. Paid a guy to do our whole landing page. Yeah. That's another thing. We've, yeah, like outsourcing we've, stuff. Yeah, paid multiple vocalists to do vocals for us. I'm not gonna lie. Like six months ago, I would have been like, I had this mindset of like, I didn't want to spend money because we weren't making much. So like, you want to hold on to money, bro. Don't be stingy. You have to put money out there into the world for money to come back. We haven't released this product yet, but I think just us investing money into it obviously increases the value of it. Mm -hmm. We saving our time as well making an overall better experience even things like your health oh, that's going true. to the gym and always like knowledge like buying books it could be music related Fuck, it could be business true. related i didn't even like, think about that bro yeah for us our music our knowledge our gym our health is like all in one if we put money into each of those things it's all gonna benefit the whole thing as one that's so. true for example this book bro i'm not even gonna lie that's oh, yeah. an investment rick rubin's book all about creativity i knew that this book i'd read for the rest of my life i'd pick it up and share the knowledge with people share the knowledge with sean this was like 40 dollars fucking hell i've already like made that back just for the amount of insight this guy's done exactly what we want to do and way more if it costs 40 dollars to get some knowledge why wouldn't i this one in particular recently all about marketing and branding holy shit the amount of improvements were made to the website the landing page everything with this i'd say even i actually started reading the first book of narnia two days ago i finished it already narnia yeah i'd, I'd never read it before but i even say reading Oi. reading sci-fi fan fantasy books can for real because it creates images in your head and you can almost put that image into a sample damn bro <laughs> that's like next and level shit yeah. this might just be for me i'm sure it'll be same for some of you guys as well even the fantasy books you just like it creates a move in your head as you're doing it and then the next day you wake up you can it's still in your head and you can just like make a sound of what that would sound like but that's just one thing it just gives you 
ideas and it's, it's all created creativity and that's yeah. part of being creative you can just take inspiration from literally anything put it into your own spend your money on knowledge knowledge is power having the knowledge allows you to win you need yep. the knowledge the knowledge that people don't have who was that was it simon beats prod simon it was prod oliver good question how many hours a day do you all dedicate to music? Not only making the music, but all the other aspects. I'm guessing that's what he's saying. Just in general, we work every day, all day. It's not a matter much. of hours, it's just yeah. the day. Um, and But in terms of like the hours of things, it does vary. So like if there's family things, you're not going to be making music while you're doing that. It can vary in the day. But if we're not doing something that we like have to do, we're always working. Inside of that, like today, for example, I didn't make any music at all. Everything I did today was basically redoing our whole email list we had some problems with the emails yeah. going to spam there and also just collab sales was dropping which we'll touch on soon so the whole day i spent just fixing that up that doesn't happen that often like most no. of the time you will cook up music it yeah. hasn't been like that in a while but pretty much i wake up about 7 a.m every morning try to get to bed at about 11 p.m every night yeah similar for you yeah similar it's similar it changes various. like for a while this cunt was waking up at 5 30 a.m some david goggins shit <laughs> yeah it does vary like I, you go through, you, that worked for you at the time right yeah i feel like you don't go through different phases phases of yeah. things that work even to do with like eating because i feel like that's the whole I think it, about that a lot it of... intertwines like sometimes i'll eat at 12 sometimes i eat at five and it does change so, your day yeah for real cooking the whole process of cooking and eating alone is like at least probably half an hour yeah at least. so that's like kind of distracts you from a flow and then your food's processing so you are a little bit sluggish after you kind of work around the eating times yeah but normally it's like work until 10 30 10 30 basically go to the gym an hour and a half come home from the gym i'll usually won't have a big meal i usually just like a little protein shake i'll have that straight get back into work do whatever create starters edit videos and then yeah eat it at like 4 p.m and then after that work dinner work what would that rough hours be around about eight to ten eight to ten but it's like some days it's a, a 12 some days, it's 12, <laughs> some days it could up. yeah but it's funny bro last night I, I realized i was like it's friday and mm. saturday and i was like most people i'm not like saying this like we're better than anyone else most mm. people are thinking holy shit's the weekend bro what are we gonna do tonight what are we gonna get up to where are we going tonight bro we just we just get back to work <laughs> working and then like you said occasionally we'll do things we'll go for swims we'll go for hikes up a mountain randomly play golf i go for runs We'll kick the yeah. ball. Like, we can talk about burnout later, too. Burnout's, like, pretty bullshit. <laughs> How do you stay consistent? Most? How do you stay consistent? I'd say, firstly, breaking up your day and having other things as well is a big part of being able to do something for as many hours as we do it a day, every day, for, like, well, we've been doing it for nearly two years now. So, like, routine? Yeah, 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 I guess. I mean, routine's routine, a big one. It is. Inconsistency. Yeah. Because, like, a routine just... It actually, like, biologically, it, when you do routines, your body just gets used to doing things. If you have a similar sleep time, similar gym time, similar eating time, and similar work time, it's like, when you go to do the work, your body genuinely is, like, a little more prepared to do yeah, the work. Yeah, like really. Yeah. Mm. Have a consistent routine. More on how do we stay consistent. Bro, I don't know. For us, it's natural. I, I think having the belief, the self-belief that you'll achieve what you've set out to do, when, like, that's so ingrained in our heads, and because it is, it doesn't make sense to, like like not work a day so it's like we stay consistent by doing that i genuinely don't think since we started international basically two years that there would have been one day we've done nothing to contribute to the business there yeah. would have been because you don't you don't want to when you want to do something and you've convinced yourself that you will do it and you'll get there by any means you don't want to miss a day that's how we've been so consistent because we don't yeah. want to be inconsistent sometimes you don't think you're being so consistent with those routines in place and like if you look at what you've actually done you're actually doing a bit more than you think there's like sometimes where i feel like i'm not doing enough but I think, I genuinely think only the people who are doing the most usually think that they're not doing enough. Right. I feel like a lot of the time, like I remember when I used to make beats like before international, like three years ago, I'd made like one beat and uploaded it to YouTube and like I, I was done for the day. I was still at school when I was like working a job, but I was like so proud of myself. If I would do that now, just make a beat, I'd be like, what am I doing? That sort of mindset comes with doing more. People who don't usually do a lot of work tend to think that they're, they think they're doing a lot. Practically, there's some things that come to mind. I always like, before I go to bed, I'll just write out the things I'm gonna do. That's just one thing that helps. I'll have like a Notion document. I'll just write out, edit YouTube video, get into deep flow say or something. And then I'll go tweak landing page, da 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 da, create starter. And then what I do is before I go to bed, I'll literally have the document there and then shut my laptop. So it's like when I wake up, bang, fuck. 
I've got to do this now. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm just doing it. Yeah, having a list, having crossing a list it off, helps. it just helps, bro. Makes you do at least something every day. That's, that's the kind of what consistency is, making sure that you're doing at least something every day, practicing an instrument. 10 minutes of practicing an instrument every day over a year compared to somebody who just like did it once a week for an hour. The person mm. who's doing it every day would be so much better. Make sure you're like, the things in your day are things that, that you need to be consistent in. For example, I can't ever in my life pay a certain amount of money and instantly know how to play the piano. The piano has to be practiced for years to get good at it. I can't instantly, when I have used money, pay and know how to speak Spanish. But that's gonna need to be done every day. Everything that's improved is things we did work on every day, you know? Yeah. Everything that's gotten way better and has helped us move forward were the things that were in our day, every day, for the last- Just about two years. Just about two years. Yeah. What are the ways you make money and afford to travel? And then we got, one? what did we do before music production became our main source of income? Let's just preface this, like all the trips, everything we've been spending money on in the last year and a half has pretty much been the money we've made from music. And we'll talk about like how we've made the money with music. But before music, we just had jobs from young. Like we, we always had gigs going. I had like a paper run job first, then worked at a, the golf driving range with him, did like some post thing, a pizza delivery job. But then yeah, I had a, I actually had like a business because we both both basically just wanted to make money at the end of the 2022. So we both wanted to make money. I started this business, this exterior cleaning business. Um, I was actually making like decent money, way better money than the music for like the five, six months I did it. I was making like a grand and a half in a week. And I was like, for me at like 17, that was pretty cool. But then I was like, fuck, I don't want to do that my whole life. When we started International 2023, we both had money saved up from all that stuff, which we could then live on for like our gym, gas, all that shit. And then when we started making money from music, that built up and then we started spending that on our trips. Do you want to say anything about like your previous jobs before i was a tennis coach and worked with the driving range surely we can find some videos yeah we would uh, yeah some, i think i'll have videos of both of that photos i did both for three years and like there were some weeks where i'd be at school and i'd be i'd work a 46 hour week between both those two hustle. so like we were both hustling. Yeah. Okay. even when we were at school glad we went for those jobs what are the ways you make money to be able to travel the money from our jobs is like actually how we've been able to travel as well but like the brazil trip was pretty much yeah i think the brazil trip but like the one last year bro i think we've spent 20 something grand really on on both trips, trips just like traveling yeah, sure. and just like expenses in general Damn. and like we wouldn't have been able to do that we would have been able to do some of that but not all of it if we hadn't had money saved up from working i would say if you're like 16 17 start working whatever like job a smart you can. job if you can get a job where you like you can learn at the same time yeah, that's even better. It's, it's Way ideal. better just having money lots of money as much money as you can when you're young when you go all in on your music like sure. we did it's just like so good to have like a lump sum there but for the brazil trip we literally booked the flights through the paypal pretty mm, much so yeah, yeah. do want to just quickly go over the income streams it was collab sales is the main thing our own beat sales upfront payments for placements and exclusive sales sound kits obviously our youtube adsense was a little bit a little bit of royalties as well how many beats have you made in a day? How many samples have we made this year? Uh, yeah, we got 514. Okay, we've well, made 514 samples this year. How many days have we gone by? About 300. 300. Sample, Roughly like two a samples a day, yeah? Yeah. On average, probably like a beat a day. Yeah. We, up, we have three type B channels going. Yeah. I've got to make two beats tonight today and like today i made two starters some days i'll make i won't make a starter barely any days that go by where we don't make any sample of beat. Yep. that's that's the main thing how long did it take to get your collab sales off the ground I mean, we can just go on the finance tracker real quick yeah from starting it was at least six months before we made any money really bro it took like seven seven seven, seven eight months and then we made like two and a half grand straight away. It compounded like this. All of a sudden, after like seven months, we started getting some club sales in. One thing to note is that like, once you get like a big beat, yeah, that will be like 80% of your income. Yeah, be a big month. <laughs> a whole month might be like 80% of the income might be from like two beats. Mm. Now we're like sell a lot of our own beats as well, so we're more, we have more control over it. Recently, the collab sales have been going down. Figure out what's going on, yep. reassess. Like today, we're reassessing what's going on. Are people getting our emails? Blah blah. blah. What do we need to make? What are people using? It's sure. not a very stable source of income unless like, for at least at least a grand every month. It was at least a grand every month, which is kind of stable in a way. Yeah. Like it was always a grand. It's yeah. always a grand. It's important to have 
other things going as well definitely which is what we're doing you know we're doing our own beats now so we can kind of control that we're, and we're getting into that industry the placements yeah true that. people buy beats man whether it's your, just your sample or your whole beat there's so many artists out there people fucking buy beats a lot of it's like in a lot of skill but like whether your beat gets into the algorithm or whatever mm. just put your shit out there why would we leave beats on a hard drive just put them out and then people buy them randomly people want our beats and we have like multiple channels now we're just pushing ourselves out there people fucking buy beats it's surprising me how many people do buy beats i'm surprised more beats don't get stolen people live off this shit people make like producers that make more than like most people's parents make here just off like yeah. beat sales yeah it's crazy Fun. people buy kits as well as long as yeah. your products helping people as long as you're solving the problem and getting in front of people you can make money all right there's still a lot of questions to be answered we haven't even touched networking branding there's so many different topics we could get into you know we want to keep this kind of short we're trying a new format see if you guys like it if you want a part two let us know drop more questions in the comments check out our instagram as well because we obviously put this up on our instagram so you can see that make sure when you click off this video you don't go back to doing something unproductive doom scrolling or whatever create something do a bit of networking and boys we'll see you in the next video cheers for watching anything you want to say bro stay consistent just a little bit of game for you